So this is the four movie S5 laser projector. This has to be the smallest and most portable projector reviewed on my channel, but this still supports 1080p, has 1100 ANSI lumens, supports HDR10, Android 9, has DTS, Dolby Audio, also has speakers from Denon, so good quality there. We'll be interested in checking that out and see what kind of sound we can generate on a projector that's so compact and so small. Let's open that up. In fact, now I have to say guys, from an unboxing or packaging experience, this is made really well. So over here we've got, I'm guessing the power adapter. We do, so this is a power brick. And we can see it has a Type-C connection, so, so I should be able to use any other Type-C charger and even power this with a power bank. Over here we've got, I'm guessing, the remote control. Again, we can see, guys, really nicely packaged. And here we can see, again, a very, very standard uh, Android TV remote control. We've got the basic buttons here, D-pad, and we've got the 4Movie button, which is normally used for picture correction or to quickly access the 4Movie menu. Over here we've got a, a small pamphlet quick instruction guide uh, which I believe is in Chinese and here is the projector guys so what a nice compact premium feeling projector I mean for a size uh, comparison this is the Nvidia Shield remote control so we can see maybe just double the size of that very compact on the back here we've got the power button we've got USB 3 port we've got one single HDMI in We've got headphone jack and we also have a type c port so this is going to be for the power underneath we have some ventilation and some of the certifications we can see here and at the front of we can see this is a laser display projector so again guys this is definitely the most smallest most compact laser projector i've reviewed on my channel so let's now plug this in and i'll take you through the setup process now, as you can see guys this projector is designed for the Chinese audience. So the first thing I need to do is work out how to change the language. Uh, let's see if I can find the settings. Okay, so in here, I guess we're looking for something. <laughs> uh, let's try this one. Uh, let's go here. Okay, yeah, these look like settings. So not that, not that. Ah, uh, that looks like a globe. Aha! And we have English, so okay, so we can now adjust these settings. Uh, let's leave that as is. Okay, so I've managed to install a custom launcher, which is a Project Ivy launcher. Now when I press the home button, we can see that my device stays on this. Now I can now see the standard settings of this projector. I can change the network settings, look at the image settings. You've got some brightness options here. You've got some image mode. You've got advanced settings. Uh, you can adjust the zoom. So for example, you can see it getting smaller. Let's leave that as 100%. You've got image motion compensation. This is on standard mode. You've got sports mode, vivid, movie. I think probably movie looks most color accurate. Let's go back. Brightness mode, you've got day mode or viewing mode. Let's leave that one. As I mentioned before, this does contain some Denon hardware for the sound, so I'll definitely be doing a sound test to uh, test that. Let's start with some YouTube video. Even though this projector only supports 1080p, let's see what kind of quality we can get. I have to say, guys, that's actually a really sharp picture, so really vibrant colors, good detail. I mean, the projector only supports 1080p, but you can see it's still a, a nice picture. You can still appreciate some of the detail there in the grass. That looks good. Uh, let's try some OLED demos. Yeah, I mean, for a compact projector, that's a, a really nice, clear picture. Looks really good. Definitely, guys, I have to say, I'm very impressed with the, the brightness. 110 ANSI lumens full HD resolution, has that great keystone correction. This is a really good portable projector. And as this is a laser projector, even though it's so small, it means that you do get that improved brightness, better contrast and better color coverage. Let's try the speaker test and see what those Denon speakers sound like. Okay, so this is volume 16. Okay, the sound is still very clear, no distortion. 
Uh, let's push that up to 40. Still very clear, let's fold that a bit. Okay, that's still very clear. Let's push that to 50. Yeah, guys, I'm surprised such a small projector can produce such clear, crisp audio. And there is some bass in there as well. It's not all just punchy treble, but, and there is some good bass in there as well. All right, let's see what happens now when Thor runs. All right, it's time for Thanos. Yeah, there is a little bit of bass there. So definitely for such a small portable projector, the sound audio is actually pretty good. Let's try a little bit of gaming. So gaming on this small projector was actually okay. I mean, the latency is as low as 12 milliseconds, especially when you enable the game mode. But we can see gaming performance was actually pretty enjoyable. So whether you want to plug in your Xbox or your PlayStation, you can definitely enjoy some light gaming on this. Okay, so what are my closing thoughts on the 4Movie S5 small portable AOPD laser projector? Well, it's a very interesting projector, I'll give you that, because firstly, the size, it is very, very portable. It literally is the size of a Mac Mini, more or less. It's very light. You can power the entire projector with a power bank. So I was also impressed with the autofocus, the auto keystone. The projector was able to give me a very sharp, very clear, fully focused picture in a matter of seconds. And even when you adjust the projector, as I want to try and do now, Oh, it still actually remains in focus, but oh, here we go. So you can see auto correction in progress. So very quickly, I would say in less than five seconds, we are again looking at a super sharp, super clear, super crisp picture. So definitely impressed with that. I also like the fact that it gives you that full version of Android TV. So no need to plug in another device or anything like that. You can access the entire Play Store. You can download all of your favorite streaming applications, all of your favorite games, all of your favorite utilities. You have full access to do that. Gaming on this was also okay, so latency wasn't too bad. So for a bit of light gaming, this projector is more than adequate. I'll turn the negatives. Um, it is firstly only a 1080p projector. So if you are looking for 4K content, even though this does decode 4K content, if you're looking for a native 4K projector, then obviously this is not gonna be the one. Secondly, the fact that it does come with a native uh, Chinese language set as default. So you do have to go through a manual process to change the language. And then in my case, I also went ahead and installed a custom launcher. Again, it was no issue for me, it just took a couple of minutes. But if you are somebody that's looking for instant plug and play, then the 4Movie S5 is not gonna be that. But overall guys, I would say for the price point, around about $500 to get this kind of picture quality, to get this kind of detail, really sharp, really bright picture, really good colors, in a size that you can fit in your bag and power it from a power bank, I think the 4Movie S5 is definitely worthwhile checking out if you are looking for a small, compact, portable projector. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I will leave all of the links in the video description and pinned comment if you wanna check that out. Do leave me a comment below, let me know what you think, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.